Just 12% of Navy fighter pilots are women, and fewer than that got to be part of this summer's hottest blockbuster, Top Gun. Tonight, we meet Amy Heflin, an elite member of the Navy's fighter pilot team, an instructor, an expert in strike and fighter weapon tactics, and someone to look for on the screen this weekend. KMAX Ryan Chandler joins us with her message to young girls in her hometown of Lubbock. Well, it is a high-flying wild ride in theaters this weekend. Top Gun is back 36 years after Tom Cruise first went to flight school. And a Lubbock native is helping him out this time. Amy Heflin graduated from Lubbock High School in 2007. She then went on to spend more than a decade serving our country as one of our most elite fighter pilots. Now, Tom Cruise may be infamous for doing his own stunts, but for many of the high-speed maneuvers in this movie, Amy was behind the controls. We are three seconds behind, increase to 489. From the hub city to Hollywood, Navy fighter pilot Amy Heflin is bringing her skills to the silver screen. And taking some of the biggest names in showbiz to new heights. We went from, you know, being concerned about tactics and being concerned about, you know, putting bombs on target to being concerned about lighting. It was very different types of flying in that sense, uh, but it was a ton of fun. And if you look closely, you might catch a glimpse of her in action, doubling for actress Monica Barbaro, or Phoenix, and flying alongside Tom Cruise, as they did some of the most perilous stunts of her career. I think one of the coolest things that surprised me was how like down to earth and how genuine all the, all the actors were. Monica would sit in the back and she just, the first couple of flights, I think they were a little shell-shocked. And she was like, holy cow, we are below the tree lines. You'll see in the movie, there's a lot of low-level flying. And I can't stress enough how little uh, CGI was used in the making of this movie. Uh, the flying is, is very real. But before she was flying low, she was aiming high here in Lubbock. In elementary school, I remember having a teacher, you know, uh, I confessed that I wanted to go to the Air Force Academy. and and fly jets and do all that stuff because that was the plan at the time. And, and I remember having a teacher kind of say like, I don't, you know, I don't know if that's, you know, for girls. And, and I think that is what kind of lit a little bit of a fire for me to say, you know what, let me prove you wrong and, and I'll come back and show you. And that fire grew at Lubbock High. After graduating, both she and her brother went on to fly. A family passion sparked while looking up at the long history of aviation here on the South Plains. Back in 1988, they uh, closed Reese Air Force Base, but every year my dad would take us out to see the Blues or the Thunderbirds. The true thing that, that drove me to join the military was my older brother. He has Down syndrome. Uh, he's six years older than me and kind of just seeing that I could use my abilities, I could use my able body in order to go give back to the community in some way was kind of like the true driving factor. But it has been a turbulent ascent for one of the few women represented in the Navy's most elite cockpit. Amy hopes the biggest takeaway from this movie is an inspiration for young women who know that their dreams too can take flight. The young ladies of Lubbock, it's just, you know, aim high. I hope it lights some fires, you know, around the world and, and show some girls uh, that, that we can do it too.